Well, hey there, everybody. It's me, Whisper Sneeze Goers. And I'm here to tell you about the story of the HMS Thunderchild. Thunderchild. It all started with Ron Stigsor and his army of bucket crojits. They were on the run for over 500 caps worth to an angry supermutant. They heard a tip-off on a big score and so decided they had nothing to lose. Come on, crojits. We got money to find. Crojits! Oh god, Crojits, defend me, Crojits. Jeez. I hope we can still be friends when this is all over. What are you? Crojit! Oh, Crojits! No, Crojits! There was one problem, though, with Ron Stigsaur's buckets. Them Crojits were set to explode as soon as their systems failed. Well, this was the end of the Crojits for him. I'll, I'll build more. Yeah. Build more. That's that's it. Where am I going? What? Oh, there's still... There's more of them. Oh, my God. Oh! Thank God. We have a good shotgun. I just have to stop missing. Okay. All right. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> All right. I did add like I thought I added like two or three more ghouls, so they could fight the crojits. But uh, that was that was a lot more ghouls than I thought they were gonna be. Oh no! My children, finally. Son of a. Well, as you can see, Ron Stigsor got knocked the hell out. They took everything, including his undies. Act no, they did. They kept his underwear. They even let him keep his shirt. They did take his glasses, though. The thermometer reads 102.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Jeez. Where it's getting it's getting sweaty in here. The vending machine blocks the doorway. If you're strong enough, you can push it. All right. Well, that's awesome. All right. Let's see what else we can do. On the surface, the door looks locked, but after closer inspection, the door is jammed in the frame. It looks like it can be taken apart with a high enough repair skill or a well-placed bomb. Mm. Take out the hinges with your teeth. Remove the door from its frame. Use the cherry to destroy the hinges. Requires cherry bomb. Ooh, a cherry bomb somewhere here? Cherry? You know what, let's uh, move this, uh... <laughs> Rod Stigsor is not that strong. <laughs> Son of a... Alright, um... Sure. Oh, boy. Oh, whoa, <laughs> where'd he go? <laughs> Stretch them limbs. Mmm. You're a stretchy boy. Alright, so I think, um, what is it? Each enemy is just, just two shots? I like that. It's like a little, uh... Actually, a really good way to make sure, like, damage modifier mods don't mess up your, uh... Your intended thing! Oh, Lenny. Oh, Lenny. Oh my god, Lenny. Close the door. <laughs> For the love of god. It's raining abomination. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, Ron. You can do it. Oh, those damn super mutants are going to kill you. You were doing this for money. They took your crotch, it's now they're gonna take your life, Ron. This is no way to live. Punch your way. Take all their meat. Oh god, there's so many flies in here. Oh, I don't like it. I know I keep saying this in all my recent videos, but there gnat there's a gnat in my room. I know it's multiple gnats. 
that. It's just a lineage of gnats, actually. There's just a family of gnats. And, uh, but there's only, like, just two of them. Only two. Anyhow, back to the game. Back to me punching abominations and gaining tons of animal food. Hey there, mister. I'm going to take your clothes. I'm going to take your life. I'm going to go back to your hometown. Take up where you left off. It's going to be creepy. Got a few bullets. And we got. All right, I'm, I'm, I want to try out the uh, golf club, see if it's not just... Maybe, cause maybe those punching, uh, maybe the boxing gloves were. What am I trying to say here? Maybe they magically shrunk all the enemies. Hey there. Hey, Lenny, how you doing? Oh. Oh. Lenny. <laughs> Lenny, I took your halberds. I'll take good care of the halberd. Well, would you look at this? Ooh, a bloodstained note. Help! Me, me! I'm being kidnapped by a dirty old butcher boy. Hmm. Lenny, were you the butcher boy? Or are you working from someone? That's right, from someone. Not for. From. Hey! Each one of those. Oh, no. Sorry! Oh, Roddy, I'm sorry. I'm taking your dog meat. I'm chucking grenades. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, no. Uh. <laughs> okay, it wasn't just the gloves. Okay. I want to drop them. Oh, okay, never mind. They're not going to fall. Yeah, look at you. That looks terrifying. Never see the underside of these things. And there's good reason. What's this? There a bunch of birds going to come out? Electrocute some birds. Oh, looks like we're having some some nice crispy dinner tonight. I gotta reach in there. There's a book in there. I know there's a book in there. Give me your book, damn it! All right. Oh God. Whoa! Look at you. Pick up power armor. As you pull out the armor out of the dumpster, you notice it's only the torso part, dumbass, with a part of the body still inside. You quickly put the body back where you found it. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Uh oh. Never mind. Death claw hand. Hey, we got a little. Hell, oh, my look! Ooh. There's more hidden people. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this is great. I'm, I'm loving it, McDonald's. Mmm! We're gonna live like kings. Oh, Ron Stig's store. This is just the beginning of a story of gluttony. Ron Stig's store was famous for eating Brahmin meat at all times of day. Breakfast, noon, lunch, it didn't matter, even if lunch and noon were the same. But he had to fight for that food. Run, stick, store. He's fighting for his food. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know if the boxing was better. Is there a door behind me? I forgot. Oh, closed. Come on, come on. Come on, Stimpak, Stimpak, Stimpak. I need the. I needed those documents yesterday, Martha. Come on. And you blew a hole in your computer? What the hell's wrong with you? Jeez, Roddy. God, you didn't even try. Oh, you dumb, dumb bee. Ron, what are you doing? You, you don't have a skill set of a hundred? Jesus Christ, dude. What's your damn problem? Yeah, drink some whiskey. That'll solve the problem. Oh, here they come. Wait, how did they... I don't understand. I don't understand where... God, there's more. The metal trunk smells horrible, but isn't locked. As you open the chest, you find all the gear that was taken from you. Thank 
Oh my god, hurry up. Oh! Mode on there for a second. <laughs> Ooh! No, wait. I'm friendly. Oh, God. No! Anti agony, jeez. God, anti agony, no. Oh. 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 oh, that was awesome. Oh, that was a perfect boss battle. Butcher's Master Key. Oh, you got... Oh, God. amazing. Oh, I love that she has this little custom helmet. Man, we've been uh, a lot of abomination stuff going on recently. I like it. Well, this is terrifying. Let's, uh... Jesus, it's on my body. Okay. Okay, yep, 12 gauge rounds. Just keep giving me everything. That's cool. Who wants to see the pump shotgun? It's pretty cool. See? Oh, oh. Are you okay? Okay. There you go, now you're stretchy. All oh, ha ha fly, praise. Have you already kissed Auntie today? Must work for Auntie, must make babies for Auntie, must make babies with Auntie, oh god. New parts, chewy parts, but bony parts, squishy parts. <laughs> Scaly parts, spiky parts. Oh. Stringy parts, stringy parts, looking parts, crunchy parts, soft parts. Gotta find all the parts, all the parts. Make Auntie proud, make Auntie shine, put together all the parts. Ha 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 ha! Oh wow! More laughs. Oh, just like my life. Fly. All for anti agony. Kill, maim, bleed, slice, suck, tear, rip, load, sew, dice, cut, strangle, crush, feed, crawl, free, make, pest, eat, drain, spit, cook, wave, pull, flame, flail, grow, mark, link, stare, fight, stake, hold, bring, punch, break, cry, rise, lead, storm, burn, shine, die. Grow, grow, grow. Awaken, awaken now, man. Early Folgers commercials were weird. If I never sleep, I never wake. If I never eat, I never grow. If I never drink, I never shine. If I never work, I never smile. Pray for her, pray to her, all praise, Auntie. Man, someone is gonna be real upset when they find that I shot Auntie in the face multiple times. Hi there, who are you? Jack McKeith? Oh, and a sword battle, fallen honor. Oh wow, you only have one arm? Oh, I've never seen that. Oh, wow. That is very unique, jeez. All right, Jack, I'm giving you the battle you wished for. Oh, you're fast. You're fast, Jack. But I don't think you're fast enough. Had enough? I'm gonna cut that other arm off and slap you in the face with it. Oh! Or I'll take your head, sorry. Now you're just an old man with ethereal sunglasses on. Yeah. Didn't think this is how you'd be spending your day, did you? You son of a... Ah, uh, the whiskey. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what was that? Why does my whiskey withdrawal make me a robot? Whiskey. Slam it. I've come to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And this is the room we were about to get into, so it doesn't matter at all, okay? <laughs> Plenty of spam, though. That's good. For the road. Dr. Strange Love, Mr. Bojangles, Alan Chest Hair. Oh, we gotta take him down. Ron knew he had to kill all of them. Especially the chest hair, son of a bitch. Had enough? We're just getting started. And I'm taking this boat. I 
where'd that dog go? You can't escape your fate, Mr. Bojangles. But Mr. Bojangles did escape his fate that day. Oh, and then this guy came out. Personal savior. Sorry, Alan Chest Hair. But you just got your last bounty. The dog had come back for retribution. But he only found that he was a stupid, stupid dog. Yeah, he should have run, dumbass. I was giving you the out. Ron was filled with rage and the red vision of blood. As he walked back to the meat processing plant, that's when his eyes finally laid on it. The Thunder Child, a magnificent piece of machinery. Ron had always wanted to be a boat captain, and now it seemed his dreams were coming true. Oh my god. Oh my god, my very own boat. That's right, Ron, you deserve it. You killed for this boat. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's beautiful. See you, Miss Sunshine. Oh yeah. Now this, is, this is the real seat. That's the real Captain C. Yeah, you can get comfortable, big boy. Oh yeah. That's what I call luxury. Alright. Oh, that's so cool. Whoa. Now this is perfect. Alcohol immediately as you step in. The HMS Wonder Child gun wreck. Thunder of the gods. Jeez, we have so many nice custom guns. I love it. Ooh, A locations. Fisherman Shack, Colville Bay. B locations. Oh my god. All right. Kissed my first girl there on the boat under the oil stacks. There was a rainbow made out of fish. Well, if you want to read that one, you can read it. I'll read it in a moment. Oh, whiskey. Oh, was that? That was the guy we found there. Flash heart. He got... Oh. You need a flash heart helmet and armor. All right, so we have... He was some kind of superhero. Now he's a dead man. All right, so we have the flash heart armor. We need to make the helmet, I guess. Hmm. Oh, there we go. See, that's why he died. He got kidnapped without his helmet on. You don't have your helmet on, you're a dead man. All right, I guess I have to fix. <laughs> Looking good, Ron. Looking good. Place power armor until you need the flash heart helmet and the flash heart armor. All right, let's um. Is there a building bench here? Uh. Caves ground your armor, flash heart power armor, left arm. Wow. Okay. Wait, did I? I guess we got to find the power armor parts. Okay, that was a nice dungeon. That was a beautiful dungeon. And I just went back. I only now remember the advice the psychiatrist gave me before I left the vault, but I'm not sure it will still be useful. Writing about hard or traumatic experiences may process the mind, purify the soul, cleanse the palate, wet the liver, jeez, paint the fence, wash the carpet, two packs of cigarettes, and tin of beans, or something like that. All right, so this is so this was a vault dweller that uh, had the boat, that superhero dude, and. Uh, Guess that's why he wrote, because he was a vault dude, and now he's dead. Oh, and the iBot was his. Dr. Strangelove, my name, not his, didn't show any proof of Hendrix. See, alleged sodomy. What? Alright, this is where they got the boat. Thunderchild! After a ship from an old world book I read as a child, not sure what HMS stands for. Hey, Mr. Ship! Yeah, that's what it is, the Hey, Mr. Ship. Melissa's gone. <laughs> and then the inevitable happened. I was called the Chosen One and had to do a quest for them. 
Why can't nobody do anything themselves? Maybe I'll return the armor, plow some tribal chicks, steal the armor back, and kill the tribe. Jeez. Alright, so he's looking at a crash vertebrate that tribals have. And this is how he got to the Mojave. Sergeant Shears did most of the heavy lifting. Dr. Strangelove was able to use an electromagnetic thingy we found to pull the metal parts, and Mr. Bojangles just sat around barking. Oh! I understand. Oh no, is this... Oh no, is this the guy we murdered? Is this Alan Hare? Oh no, this is Alan Hare, isn't it? Oh. Shears, former sergeant in the Master's Army, drowned whilst trying to dig up something shiny from the riverbed. A sudden landslide caused some parts of the cliff to fall in the water, right when we were taking a small break at a flooded diner. I'll never forget the fear on his face as the weight of the boulder crushed down on him. I couldn't help him. None of us could. The shiny thing in the water turned out to be a toaster. Oh, my God. The Mojave Wasteland. Land of the rich, built on the poor. They even told about Vegas back in the vault. That's how out there the place was, and apparently still is. During the trip over here, I've managed to track down the armor, or armor pieces, as I should say. According to inquiries with some locals, some scavengers got hold of the armor and wore it as a trophy he didn't earn. Raider caught the scaver in their territory, cut off every part of his body. Whoa, his head on a pike next to the other intruders. His body and the armor, subsequently, was scattered over their territory. Of course, we have to remember this all happened over a century ago. So the geopolitical situation was a little different. Their turf consisted of the area around Lake Mead, some parts of the Colorado River. The story seems to match the story of the Grandjunt tribals, albeit without the skin-eating mole men. Head to the closest location, Big Town Baboon, Lake Mead. Alright, so this is where all the uh, pieces of the armor are. An adventure for the Ron Man! Alright, so they came to the butchery and I guess they got they got butchered. By, by me. 